The temple Stonehenge had a wide variety of uses. It was a meeting place for chiefs, it was a burial monument, it was a location for festivals and ceremonies, so it had political as well as religious significance. It was also a celestial computer it kept track of equinoxes, eclipses, solstices, and other astronomical movements and patterns. It represented life and death and the cycles of the seasons. One part of Stonehenge that's less known was its relationship to birth and fertility. Considering it's also an astrological monument, it could have been used as a three-dimensional holographic birth chart. This would work because people could give birth in the center here in this open space, and then you'd have the entire natal chart represented in the stone circles and their relationship to the stars. I don't know if I can show this part here, but it essentially resembles the birth canal. From our perspective, these things look purely symbolic, but symbols are rooted in something that's actually practically used. It would make sense as a representation of birth that it was actually used for birth. And there are other stone hinges around the world. This one is from around 7000 BC in the Nubian Desert. And there's other stone circles like this that keep track of astrological and celestial movements all over the world. And I imagine a lot of them were used in the same way because they all also represent birth. You would have the entire natal chart mapped out for you in the form of these stones when you gave birth in the center location, and also that you'd have potentially everyone doing that, or a large number of people if they could make it, doing that. Not only was it a computer, but each person was a living database in how that computer was being used. You were infused or imbued with this astrological knowledge at birth. This paper talks about Stonehenge and its resemblance to the birth canal if you're interested in looking at that more. We tend to view things in ancient humans, especially Neolithic humans, as everything just being fantasy and symbolic and ritual. But the symbolism comes from the abstract perspective of no longer being involved in that practice or in that belief. Now, I don't know too much about actually reading or using astrology, but I am fascinated by it because it has been used by humans for tens of thousands of years, if not far older than that, in some form as the sort of primary science that ties everything together. From navigation to medicine to seasons and other cycles of life and death and just life path and metapsychology. And I don't know what kind of astrology the people of Stonehenge would have used, what significance certain timings would have been, or the same for other stone circles around the world, but certainly being born in certain timings with certain patterns would have held some kind of significance. Symbolism usually comes because there was a practical reason or use of something. And I don't think Neolithic stone circle sites were any different. I think they were holographic horoscopes. So this is just another potential use of these very complex temple computers and what they may have functioned as. Thanks for watching.